Welcome back guys to another video here by Glock Productions. My name is Toby and today we're going to be reviewing this Mars Super Spider Lake uh, building block set. It's obviously a knockoff of Lego Super Heroes Spider-Man Edition. Um, it was 50 baht. I bought this in Thailand like at a market and I thought it'd be cool to review. Actually over there I have four Ninjago sets that combine into one bigger set. So that's going to be pretty cool. This I ordered for... Oh, I bought it in, in person for 50 baht, and that's about $1.44. Um, it says six and up right here. Um, part of the set number, 50 plus pieces. So I'm not sure if there's 50 or more than 50. That's a little bit interesting. The box art's probably going to be the best thing about this. I'm not expecting much for $1.44. And like I said, sets here, the knockoff they build, um, you, they want you to buy multiple of them to combine into one thing. So it's called an eight in one, not of this box, but if you buy eight of these sets like eight of the full series you can make this like bigger set box art's nice with like a spider-man here and here as you can see there's like the if you buy all eight of them you'll make that and there are your eight figures on the side nothing too much on the top there you saw 50 bot um obviously this is probably thai but i actually bought it in Th chinatown so i'm actually not too sure what language any of this is anyone would like to translate it's extremely light i tried to keep the packaging nice um but yeah and then here's like the back like i said yeah, you can see the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I think the set, this the one that's green is the one that we bought. Uh, Super Spider. And these are the diameter. It's funny because the US has a different like metric system. But this is like the big spider set you could build, which is pretty cool. I just picked out one of these. I don't think they had all eight, but with the other one I bought a four a four pack which would connect. Um there's no sealant in these, so like hopefully everything's in there. So it's gonna open this up right here interesting oh they are in a bag i thought they would not be in a bag i thought they'd just be floating around so first you get a little baggie here with probably some random digits but not numbered obviously which makes sense um it looks like we're going to be reviewing the figure but it looks like look at that the figure is almost already built he's able to put his arms in it looks like a pretty good figure with the waist and dual molded legs so like it's been interesting to review that but you get that right there and then you get an instruction manual and nothing else left in there. So we open up this instruction manual. Um, that's it. Oh, see, it says you have to build the figure, but ours is already built, which is interesting. And then his accessory. Step one, you use a lot of pieces. So step two, step three. Oh, and then this is okay. So this is just for the whole set right here. There's four steps to build your entire set. But if you had all eight of the other sets, um, I guess there would be more instructions. So these are numbers 20 to 24. So there's probably around like 30 digits. And then you can see here's like the final build once again. It's a pretty cool concept. Um, it's very enticing to buy more, but I had like certain luggage space. Pretty cool. And now let's get into this build. Okay, guys, so I just completed it. Extra pieces, there's one of these right here, one of his hands. And one of the extra pieces I lost, thankfully, there was an extra piece. one of these black landing gear. They're the most annoying pieces to put on. Like, this one's like, supposed to be inverted or something. It is so weird, but it's meant to be landing gear, so it doesn't move or anything. But I don't really get the point. Other than that, let's take a look at our figure right here. I'm not going to do, like, a normal review. But he has this nice web attachment right there. And his arms are barely posable. Like, if you move it, it's very likely to pop out. Pop out. It's very stiff. But they're pretty nice posed. Beautiful leg printing, to be honest, right there. Uh, one thing about this, it's very flimsy, a lot of it. But, um, so for kids, I don't know if it'd be the best thing. But I guess kids don't really care if it breaks a lot. Other than that, um, his head's a little bit posable. Obviously, nothing on the back. But on the front, it looks like a really good figure, like... I've never had, um, like, I guess, a custom figure, and I guess it's considered one. For the build here, no play features aside from, like, see, like, look at that. It's so weak, but this could obviously fold up and down. 
a little bit. See, it's already breaking apart. I'm barely even touching it. But still cool nonetheless. I mean, it's a dollar, and you can't even get that here in America. These are a little bit poseable, but once again, the whole thing just decides to fall off. They needed, like, one more piece just to secure the entire bottom, but uh, I guess they didn't decide to do that. As you can see, it's breaking apart on me. These are a little bit poseable is what I was saying, though, like that. But every time you... Every time you want to pose it in a different direction, it just diffuses to work, like, once again. Um, instead of, like, flick fire missiles, wow, this is, I'm not even going to edit this out because this is just how poorly designed it was. Um, but I'm not complaining, really. I, I mean, I am complaining, but just not that any of you guys are going to go to Thailand and go pick up this set in the Chinatown that I went to. But nonetheless, just wanted to give you guys an honest review here and see the, the tiles right there have it back which is kind of interesting design choice but i feel like it would have been better just to have the windshield like at a normal angle um and as i was talking about wow this refuses to stay on like they needed like one more brick right here to seal the connection because it just keeps popping off every time you just motion it for a little tiny change and there goes that one Okay, there we go. And then, like I said, the flick fire missiles are not flick fire, but there's a studs right here. He could either, like how I was, they don't display him connected to it or anything, but I noticed you could put his hand right here. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. Look at this. I'm barely even touching it. Um, let's see if I can fix it. Because this is it's just missing like that one stud is what is what I'm saying. So then you have this piece out right here. Cause it, yeah, it's very interesting. This piece here. And then it was like. See, that's the main thing. These two pieces right here. The only connection is this one stud. And for these obviously not licensed Legos, do not connect all the best. But like I was saying, let's see if I can finally get this angle down. You could hold him right there. If you could ever get it like that. Okay, not too bad. Um, and then you could fly through the air like this. And then let's see if I can get him to do one more thing. I was curious. I have not tried this yet, but sit him down. I was wondering, does he have studs on the back? He does. Oh, yeah, there you go. Because only one of them will connect. And then you can fly through like this and shoot his webs and whatnot. The one extra piece is pretty cool. Um, Obviously, I'm not a kid anymore, so I won't be playing with it. But I think we're lucky to have Legos. And I cannot find any Legos there besides there was like two Lego stores in this expensive mall. But I would not recommend this to many people. It's a cool thing, like, from Thailand. Like, I'm going to keep the box, too. Like, I keep all my boxes. But for $1.44, it's pretty cool to get a figure because you can't even get a figure that cheap regardless um, if you bought it on eBay. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll guys see you in a future video. Peace.